Hello everyone, sorry I haven't been posting for a while, but I've been kind of busy with this thing. It's a 2000, not 2000, it's a 1994 Ford Explorer, it's the first gen, so it's got all the weird little issues that almost all first gen has. Um, I've, I've got most of the major stuff da done with this thing now. Just got a little stuff. Like, I need to get a new door skin for that thing. Need to get a new one for this one. I need to uh, replace the bearing. Is yeah, it moves like a quarter inch. And that's not good. Um, I also need to replace the clip for uh, the outer door handle. So, let me show you what I'm talking about here. You see that yellow clip right there? It's broken on the other side, so I need to replace it. Um, spring's missing this in the door handle right here, but that doesn't really much matter. You can still open it. But the little plastic gearing for this handle is broken, so I need to replace the door handle. Um, same issue for that door as this one. The clip for the outer door is broken, so I need to replace it. I think clips are just this vehicle's weak point. Because also, the clip that was for this, for the gear, uh, for the lock right here, you can see the lock just sitting all by itself. There's supposed to be a, um, oh, how do we say this here? Yeah, there's supposed to be like a clip that sits right here and the little arm comes out and ho hooks onto it so you can unlock and lock the door manually but you can't do that also all the doors will lock but they won't unlock but I'm, ba but I'm betting it's because of this thing it is missing a section of it so I'm betting if I get I'm betting if I get it all together it'll probably work again but that's basically it and oh my god it did it really get that <laughs> it gets it got that hot in here that's awesome so yeah this tape is basically ruined now but oh that's cool whatever pushed the the what do you call that center that middle piece whatever Hmm, the cardboard. But, also, let's see if I can get this with, um, one hand. Oh, maybe. There we go. Yeah, I cleaned this thing out. Looks pretty good, except for that rest of the filter there, but all the other filters are replaced now. Let me turn it on for you, so let me... Yeah, just a little six cylinder instead of a instead of an eight cylinder, but it's still pretty cool. Has really high idle still, but and I forgot the keys in the house. Hang on. Okay, now I'm back, and as I was saying, it has really high idle to begin with, but. It goes down. Shaking the hood and everything, but yeah, eventually start coming down a little bit. And that's because um, I, I don't think the injections have been cleaned the whole time it's ever ran. So I'm gonna be cleaning those out too at some point. But, I'm still pretty impressed with it. I mean, the thing barely moved 20 feet in about six years. And the 20 feet just moving during the winter to get out of the way of the snow plow for the previous owners. So, yeah, and that's pretty impressive. And um, the odometer is to be believed. 
it doesn't have hardly any miles on it. Like, not even a hundred thousand. So... Or maybe the five is a mile, but I don't think that's it right. <laughs> so I think the odometer's broken, but... Whatever. Oh yeah, the radio's broken too. I've been troubleshooting that thing. I even bought a new radiate, radio. Wired up, that didn't work. Probably decided to hook up that thing to it, and... I think I got a short somewhere in there, or a um, fuse that is just worn out. I don't know. It's it's weird. But it's basically roadworthy right now, except for the tires. That one doesn't really hold air, but these are the original tires it came with. So yeah, it's this is still gonna be a little bit of project, but. It's, it's getting there, it's almost there.